All right, gang. Welcome back to our frugal millionaire challenge on Mazo. Uh, you can see it is now January one, and uh, right on cue, Byron is giving us issues, as he always does. Uh, but we are trying to get these logs over um, to our selling point. Uh, these are logs from that new uh, plot of land we purchased. I have actually chopped down every single tree uh, that we can up on that hill, that side of that hill that came with it. Um, and we are attempting, the best we can here, very slow, very, very slowly, to get these back to the main farm so we can sell them. Now, you can see we've got a decent amount of money. Well, that's because I have sold a lot more trees. You can see it's a lot more open up there. We still do have a decent amount of trees to do, uh, but it's a lot more open than was where we left off last time. Uh, it is now January, so we have uh, jumped a month here. Um... And that's like I said, you know, if I don't have anything to do on the second day, we're, we're just going to go ahead and jump through. I think I might have to undo these. It looks like it's not uh, wanting to get up to speed, unfortunately. So let's uh, let's just pull one. We'll leave one kind of in the middle here. We might cause a little bit of a traffic jam, but we'll have to make do, I guess, when we get back here. And uh, get this thing cut up and sold. Uh, ideally, when we buy another plot, of the, the problem here is this. This is the problem. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, ideally, when we get another plot of land that has a bunch of tr a bunch of trees on it, uh, we will put down another uh, wood placeable, another production, right? Uh, probably, you know, something to turn it into pallets or, you know, furniture or something like that. That's the ideal situation, because uh, we do have our charcoal going, but it is a slow process, so if we can speed that up a little bit and make a little bit more money in the, in the long run, I think it makes sense. But for right now, we literally just need money. We need money as much as we can get right now. Uh, we haven't bought a whole lot of, of the equipment we're going to need when we start drilling. We do have a drill, uh, and we have fertilizer, which is great, so that's a couple of things. But we don't have a, a cultivator or a plow or anything like that. Um, we don't have a sprayer. We don't have um, any kind of lime spreader. We don't have any of that. Um, so we still have a lot of things to purchase. I'm not saying we're going to go the route of purchasing all, purchasing all of those right now, but we have that option. And the reason why I'm saying that is if we go up into here, there is a field up here. It's pretty far away, but it's, it's not too bad. That is ready to harvest. It's $58,000. I think if we sell some more trees, we can get there today. Uh, I've already sold a couple of the pallets of charcoal, which is another, you know, way that we got to $43,000. And uh, I've got a fork now for this John Deere, as you can see. So, uh, a little bit easier for us to uh, maneuver the charcoal over there to sell it. It's not as uh, sketchy as it was before. So we're easily able to pick up one of the pallets and then move them over here and sell it. So, uh, looks like we've got a few more that have spawned in the process. We're getting good money out of that, right? So, $1,500. So there's another... You know, 300, three, 300. Three, there's another three thousand dollars just sitting right there of charcoal for us to uh, to sell when it comes time. What are we stuck on? We're stuck on something. What are we stuck on? But I have a feeling we're going to make some pretty good progress today, one way or another. Whether it's buying another plot of land. Ideally, that one I showed you up there, it would be nice to have. It's like a 98% yield bonus on it. Uh, so it's it's good. Really good for us. Uh, we could turn around and make a lot of the money that we, we spent on it back. Which is really the most ideal situation for us. Or we buy some more th items for the yard. Uh, I had mentioned before that I want to start working on, you know, making our yard. But I, right now, I think... The, the focus should be trying to get the stuff we're going to need here in the next couple of months. And we need to plot out another crop field right here, like I've mentioned a number of times. We've got a lot of things we need to accomplish in the next uh, couple of months here. We've got January, February, realistically. March, I believe we could start planting stuff in March, or maybe it's April, actually, but let's, let's look really quick. Yeah, March we could start planting stuff, so... Uh, well, technically, you could plant cotton in February, but we have no means at all of being able to... Yeah, we have no means at all of being able to uh, harvest cotton, so that's not going to work. But, uh, yeah. 
So that field up there that we would buy, uh, unfortunately, I don't think you could harvest today. So that's something I guess we have to consider, right? Because I believe that's sorghum, right? And so sorghum, it won't let you harvest sorghum until August or September. So you're just going to, if you bought that, you'd just be sitting on it for a while. So I think that kind of makes our decision up today, right? I was thinking of potentially buying that, but since we can't harvest it, I keep forgetting we're doing seasons. Uh, it's not really going to be that beneficial for us to buy it right now, with the exception of it being 98%. But if you can't harvest it now, I mean, nobody's going to harvest it, right? It's just going to sit there anyway, so we can, we can take care of it later. Now, you can see a bunch of little scars in the ground, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's from the mulcher when I was going around getting rid of the uh, tree stumps. So uh, we'll, we'll, you know, once we start working on the yard a little bit and, and get everything sorted out, we will clean that up. So we probably will do the yard stuff today. Actually, now that uh, we know we, even if we bought that land, we couldn't utilize it unless we can find another one um, that has trees on it that we could buy. Then maybe we do that route, right? Because we're going to run out of trees eventually here. We we have a lot, but. In the grand scheme of things, we really don't have a lot. If that makes any sense at all, and I don't know if it does. I might just be talking in circles to you guys, but... Uh, hopefully, you get what I mean. So I think I'm going to get rid of these three trees today. It does mean we're not going to have any shade in our tent. Our tent's going to get very, very hot. Uh, but it is winter months right now, so it shouldn't be too hot. Right? We should actually be welcoming the sun. And there's definitely some frame rate dropping here around this area for some reason. I think it's the grate. It doesn't like the grate. I don't know why, but there is some frame rate dropping there, so bear with it. It might be because there's so much of this stuff next to each other that it's kind of dropping the frame rates. Let's sell this. This is probably three grand. 4,781. 50 grand. So, if we look at the map here, right, we could buy one of these here, but there are 208,000. We're not going to get $208,000 today. No matter which way we cut it, we're not going to make that amount of money. This one, maybe. 107,000, but probably not today. We can buy that one today, which is the reason why I'm kind of leaning towards this one. As we buy it, it's already harvested and uh, plowed up, so it's ready just to have a crop put in it. So whenever it's time for us to put a crop in, that's another field that's pretty much ready to go. Um, and it's not too far off from where we are. Now, the problem is to get the trees from there all the way down to here with, um, with the winch, that's going to be a, probably a bit of a problem. So the only other thing we could really do is buy more of these and go across the road like we did. But you saw that wasn't really the most elegant situation either, right? So, um, bit of a dicey situation there, I guess is what I should say, but, um, I was going to go ahead and sell the rest of the cart charcoal, but let's just wait for a minute. Let's get that tree out of the middle of the road so we can stop causing traffic. All right. Got the tree back here. Just a matter of us getting it pushed up in there and then chopping it and moving it around. Um, I just, at the time of this recording, I had just finished watching uh, Crest 2's most recent episode, um, which I think was like 7 or it might have been 8. I don't know, but in any case... Uh, if you watch his, which you should, his links are down below in the description, um, you'll know that he decided to kind of shift gears a little bit and uh, buy the starting plot of land, which I think makes a lot of sense, but we're not going to do that. Uh, the starting plot of land gives you a lot for your money. You get uh, kind of a barn, and the barn itself has the ability to put uh, pigs, which not many pigs, I think it's like 16, uh, and then chickens. Um, makes a lot of sense because you're getting a lot for your money there and you get a grass field with it um, but I don't think we're going to do that I think we're still going to stick with our plan of turning part of this into our yard um, I just kind of like the idea about making your own yard right not utilizing something that's already pre-built or pre-made I like kind of making my own Not that there's anything wrong with, with going that route. It, there's not. I don't want anybody to get offended that I said that. I just... Um, I don't know. I kind of like the idea of uh, the imagination that, that we can utilize to uh, make our own. Make our own yard. So, we're still sticking to that plan. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, sorry about that frame rate drop, gang. It's just, uh, I think it's, I don't know if that's specifically a console thing or if it's just the, the, um, the mod. It could be both. Hook this over here. There's still 19,000 liters of wood in here, so we probably could put another tree in there. Um, but we're, we're okay for now. So, the other side of the, um, the road over there that I've chopped down all these trees, there is still two trees, I believe, there. Um, one of them is the big American Elm, which you all know has a really weird hitbox on it, so it's very difficult to get over here. Um, and the other one is, I think, just like the tree we just, we just brought over. Um, so... We can go get those, but I'll probably do that off camera. I really don't like doing tree stuff on camera that much. I do show it to you every once in a while, like just now. But uh, I don't like doing that a whole lot. I think it's all, all too repetitive. Uh, so I'm not going to do that any any further in this episode. Uh, I do want to just kind of take a leak. Take a leak. <laughs> take a leak. Take a look around here and see uh, see what else is out here for us to potentially buy. So there is, what is that? Is that barley? It's got to be barley, right? There's barley growing in there. Um, we could buy it because that would allow us to get something that's in the process of being... Um, the process of growing. It's less money we have to spend because we don't have to plant it or anything like that. Uh, but it's in the early stages, so it probably needs to be fertilized again. It's probably not fertilized very well at all, actually, to be, to be honest with you. Uh, so that's probably, at least for now, probably a no... Uh, what kind of contracts do we have? Anything good? Plowing and harvesting. So yeah, no, I don't really want to do any of that. So I think based off of all of that and considering everything that we've just talked about, what we're going to do is work on our farm, on our yard, on our new uh, field. Well, at least part of the field. At least start mapping it out a little bit, right? We can kind of figure out where we want to put you know, our house or whatever we put in, our cabin. Uh, figure out, you know, our barn, just a small barn. We don't need anything major right now. Um, and then kind of figure out a little bit of graveling area, all that stuff. Maybe reorganize the, the cell point a little bit. Um, get rid of these three trees, certainly, once we do that. And then kind of start working on making our second, well, I guess it's third, because we bought a plot of land, our third field uh, up here, right? Get rid of some more of these stumps, like that one right there that I missed. Just try to get all of this cleaned up, make it look a little bit neater, a little bit nicer. So, I tell you what we're gonna do here, gang. I'm going to uh, go off camera really quick. I'll figure out what cultivator or drill, whatever it is, we're going to buy. Something hopefully that the gator can use, because we still don't have a tractor. I want to get a tractor soon, but uh, I mentioned it already, and I'm gonna kind of stick with it. I really don't want to uh, buy a tractor when when the gator could you know do it. When we get a little bit further along, we will certainly be getting a tractor, and, and for certain things, it probably makes a lot more sense for a tractor. But if the gator can do it, I'd like to go that path to save us some funds. So let me take a look, and uh, I'll be back with you once we get everything sorted out. All right, we're pulling up here to the shop, gang. I did buy a cultivator that allows us to create fields. I don't know if it's going to work. It is a little bit more horsepower. Well, it's got a little bit more of a horsepower requirement than our gator can utilize. So if that doesn't work, guess what? We're going to have to find a tractor. Um, I should check. Yeah, there's nothing out there right now. The, there are these, which this could potentially work. We've utilized this in my gator challenge, my original gator challenge, before we started doing this hybrid version. Um, we, we, we might be buying that, actually. Uh, I would almost say we are going to buy that, but uh, we'll, we'll see. That's a crazy plow right there, isn't it? Whew. Anyway, um, we may end up buying that, but uh, I mean, we don't have any grass to mow right now, so maybe maybe it's not really the right idea to spend some of that money, but uh, you can see we spent about 12 grand on this at uh, not a very big width, two and a half meters, so I'm hopeful that the uh, gator can do it, but uh, let's find out. All right, so I think what I'm going to do, actually, I was going to start going to the, the main um, yard, but I think uh, I think we'll try here and see if it can even pull it without even setting it up for... Yeah, it pulls it. It pulls it no problem. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. This is going to work. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so I will do this field. We'll probably do this field today. Honestly, we'll get everything set up and ready to go. 
but let's uh, let's make sure that it can create new fields and all that stuff. So I said I wanted to expand this out, and we're going to. I probably will not expand it all the way to the end, so I probably need to figure out where my... I can't really figure it out, can I? Oh, shit. I was going to say, I probably should figure out where my my end of my line is. I mean, I'm, I think this, when I was getting rid of this stuff, I think it went slightly further than I'm supposed to. Because I feel like if I come up here, this is going to tell me I can't cut this tree down. Because I feel like I would have cut it down. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm not allowed to cut that down. Oh, quick save here. I mean, I'm right on the line there, right? So, I guess... Maybe we just... I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to try to start kind of here. Right here. And let's just see if that uh, is sufficient or not. Hopefully it is. Maybe we just leave that area there. Maybe we might fix it up later. Who knows? But we can leave that area to the next next to it as just typical forest ground, and we can utilize that if we need to get to this road faster. We can do so. Right. Okay. That'll work. This is going to work. Good, good, good. I don't have to buy a tractor yet. Not that I don't want to. I love the tractors, but... Um, I really am trying to... Do the best I can in this challenge, and... and honestly, even though it's not a competition, I'm trying to beat everybody, because I turned everything into a competition. <laughs> so I'm trying to beat all these... All these... Uh, computer players, who have access to way more mods than I do. It's always fun to turn something into a competition, right? I always think that. We're just competitive by nature, gang. That's all it is. Alright, so we're gonna have to do something about those... I don't know how to get rid of those. <laughs> we're gonna have to do something about those, um... Those plants. I, they're, they're not, uh... They're not being removed here. I guess I'm going to have to see if there's something else I can do. I'm going to try something here. I swear I saw somebody do this. I don't know who it was, and I apologize. Um, it might have been Farmer Mike, maybe? And I don't know. He's on, he's on PC, so I don't know if this is going to work on console or not. I swear. I don't know what he did. Do you do grass? I don't know what he did. Yeah, that's what he did. It costs us money to do it, but we can get rid of it by doing this. See that? So what that means is I'm gonna have to spend a ton of money to get rid of those. Or we just leave it be, and we suffer with it. I don't know what to pick. Cause see, look, now they're gone. But... Since I'm not on PC, I can't force that money back into my account or say that it's free to remove all that. Because there's a lot of them. I mean, look at that. There's a lot in there. That's a lot of money. That was like $16 every time we stuck one down. Hmm. I don't know what to pick here, gang. What do we do? What do we do? Maybe I'm going to... Hmm. Maybe I leave it up to you guys. Why don't you let me know down below in the comments what you think I should do. Should I just suffer with my OCD of, of seeing those in there until the, the actual crop gets, you know... When the crop gets, you know, it, it, when it's grown a certain stage, you won't see them anymore and it really won't bother you. But at the early stages, when you have your field cultivated, all that, it's gonna bother you. Hmm. Yeah, I guess maybe we'll do it a little bit of it here in, the, in our main field here. But the... Oh, I went way too far there. But, um... 
the bulk of it. Maybe I just I, I turn it over to you guys. What, what do you What do you all think? Do you think I even worry about them, or do you think it's not that bad for you? Because if it's not that bad for you, even though it bothers me, I, I can get by it, right? I can get I can get through it. Let me know down below. We'll make a we'll make a decision on it collectively together. Let's put it that way. So I'll tell you what, gang, we're gonna get a lot of this done. Let me let me get the rest of this field. Um, well, the extension of this field done, and then we'll get the rest of the field cultivated so it looks neat and nice. Get rid of all those weeds. And then, uh, we'll start at least making an outline for the next field, and, uh, we'll go from there. I, ideally, that field is going to be, you know, the length of this one. Well, maybe a little bit shorter, because we're going to take some of that up for the yard over here we said we wanted to do. Right? But, I think you get what I mean. Let me get it done. Let's see where we're at, and, uh, we'll go from there. Alright, evidently I can't get those uh, little twig trees up out of the ground no matter what I do, uh, at least on console, so I'm, I'm a little upset about that. That's really, really going to bother me, more so than the other ones, because those you're going to probably see for most of the ground stages, so that's really going to bother me. Uh, poof. Well, that sucks. Um, 
Oh well. Uh, I did lay out uh, a little bit of an outline here of uh, what our field will look like, at least at current. It may get bigger before we actually plant it. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm sure it will, because uh, we're probably going to cut down more of these trees before uh, it's time to plant. Because we have a whole other month still, right? So, uh, we probably will. But, uh, it kind of gives a lay of the land of, of what we're working with here. It's a relatively large field. It's larger than I was expecting it to be, honestly. Uh, and it could be larger than, than I made it. I uh, purposely did a little bit of a weird cut right here. Because uh, we're getting kind of into some flat land, which I anticipate and, and plan to utilize for some more placeables and things that we need to uh, make us more money. So it's a bit of an awkward curve here, but uh, it may even get shortened more down here, especially once we uh, get more of those trees up there cut and, and we're able to expand it up that way. I think it makes the most sense to turn the hilly portion of, of our land so far into uh, part of the uh, actual fields and, and keep the flat part for productions and things that uh, don't do so well when you try to place them on uh, a hill. So you can see over there on that one, I did do some cleanup work. There's still some to be done over there, some to try to potentially be done over there. Um, so it kind of gives you a little bit of what it would look like with those plants in the middle, as you can see behind us, or without them, right? Kind of gives you an idea of, of what you're looking at here. So, um, like I said, let me know down below in the comments because I'm really curious about your thoughts. Um... I, I just don't know. I don't know if it, if it... It bothers me, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. But does it bother me enough to spend the money on it? Because that was a lot of money we spent. A lot of money. So I don't want to put in a... Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. I don't want to put in another time lapse because we already just did a pretty relatively, well, pretty, a, a relatively long time lapse there. So I don't want to put another one in here. Uh, so we'll probably just maybe do a little bit of a jump cut edit here uh, until we get most or if not the rest of this done. And then it'll be time for us to do a little work on the, the yard there. I've got an idea of the house that I want. It's about $10,000. It's a lot. Um... I might go a little bit cheaper early on, though. We might not do that $10,000 house yet. Uh, we'll see. I think we need the money right now pretty badly, and especially with uh, next month. We're not going to have a whole lot to do next month at all. Um, we're going to be hurting. We're going to be needing those trees up there in that hill and, and probably expanding this out here at that point, right? We're going to need that money. This is, this is a difficult challenge. It really is, because... Even when we start planting stuff, we're going to have a little bit to do, but we're not going to have a whole lot to do besides trying to do some contracts. Because um, we're not going to have a whole lot of money. Ideally, in my eyes, I think we need to plant stuff that... Uh, I think we need to plant stuff that um, grows quickly so we can turn it around and either put it into production or sell it immediately. Um... We need all the money we can get, but the seasons is really where it's going to come into play of the difficulty here, right? It's going to be busy certain months, and other months it will be a little bit, a uh, little bit less, a little bit lighter, until we get uh, a good collection of fields, right? We're going to have three, which three's good. Don't get me wrong, but is it enough? I don't think so. We haven't done a lick of paying back um, our loan yet either, so we still have to worry about that and deal with that. That's another expense every month. Granted, so long as we have incoming trees into the charcoal, we're easily paying for that loan, and I'm not as concerned about it. We've got the coffee, but the problem with the coffee is to really utilize it to its full potential, we have to put down another production, and that production is like 90 grand. So we're not going to have that for a while, so we're literally just going to be sitting on coffee for a while. We could sell some of it when it's best to sell it, but you really don't make a whole lot of money. It's like $280, I think, a pallet. Or per thousand liters, I should say. I don't even know if those are full thousand liter pallets. I think they actually are like 1,100. I think they're slightly more. But still, it's... it's <laughs> that's not a lot of money, right? 
It's really not. I don't think it's even worth selling them. Granted, the only thing we're doing is putting water in the thing, and, and that's completely free. So I guess, I guess it is kind of worth it in the long run, but... I want more money than that, so... We're gonna have to do the other production for the coffee, for sure. But let me get, uh, let me get more of this done here, and then, uh... I'll be back with you when we're getting close to finishing this up, and, uh... We'll see what it looks like, and, uh, we'll have to leave this up here for a minute. We'll have to go get the, uh, the mulcher, clean up these stumps up here that I've missed, even though I don't necessarily think these are ones that I actually missed. I think it was ones that I was cutting down between the last episode and this one, uh, to make us some more money. So, let me get, uh, let me get some more of this done. All right, gang, we're nearly done here. I don't know if I can do it, gang. It, it's a lot. It's it's my OCD is really, I can't. I don't know if I can do it. That, that's a that's a lot to to look at and and be okay with for somebody who tries to make everything look perfect, <laughs> even though I'm not good at it. Uh, I don't know. I I don't know if I can do it. So I may have to make that decision on my own between now and the next episode on spending the money on this. There's even these little, like, dried, grassy things on the ground here. There's tons of those. You can see it. It doesn't bother me, I guess, as much, but it still bothers me. And there's tree branches. I mean, it's a lot. That's a lot. I, I don't understand why you're not able to remove these from the map. It's kind of ridiculous. I don't understand why cultivating, you know, or even plowing it would uh, not remove those. It's uh, pretty annoying. But in any case, um, we're done here. We've got the we get the field pretty much outlined here. Looks pretty good. Uh, bigger than you probably would expect, given given the size we had to work with here. So uh, we still have a lot of land to play with here. Uh, depends on what we end up doing with all this flat land over here. But I have some ideas for it. Like I said, it just depends on if uh, if it makes sense or not. Once we start uh, building the yard, so I think. That's what we're going to do now. The next episode, February, may be a really short episode with the exception of maybe being able to put some more stuff down because uh, I, I just don't know what else we'll be able to do. We've got both of these fields kind of done with the exception of the trees up there, which we'll probably get rid of all with between now and the next episode, more likely. And we have to cultivate that field over there. But otherwise, I mean, this is all done. So... And we won't have anything to, to drill or anything in February. We have to wait till March. So. It'll be a bit of a, a dicey episode, I, I think. Unless there's something for us to do harvesting-wise. I mean, maybe we can do potatoes or something else. I mean, it's letting us do it in contracts, which is weird. Uh, but I guess the contracts don't really abide by the, uh, the calendar, right? So. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway. Um... Let's, uh, let's work a little bit on the yard here. Let me see what I can get done. I would do this off camera because, uh, it could be a while. Actually, you know what? Let's try to do it on camera. Why not? I'll show you what I was looking at. So, um, do, 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 do. Where, where was it? Here they are. Here they are. So one of these is what I was looking at. I think I was actually looking at this one. It's eleven thousand dollars. It's a nice little house. I could tuck it away right in here, overlook on the pond a little bit. Right? It's kind of where I was planning on putting it, somewhere in there. Around the trees still. That's what I was planning on doing there, but I, I'll do it a little bit off camera because I'm not sure exactly if that's where I'm going to put it or not. But I want to show you what I was going to get. And then as far as the shed goes, remember I said I wanted to put one shed in? I was going to put this guy in. Small little shed. Uh, $2,000. Inexpensive. Very inexpensive. So yeah, that's... that's. Uh, I think that's what we're going to do. I'm not sure where I'll put the shed at yet. Uh, could be over here. Could be over here. I don't know yet. Haven't decided that, that all of that yet, but uh, yeah, let me uh, let me sort all this out, and I'll be back with you when we're done. 
All right, gang, it's uh, it's done for now. Uh, we went a little bit away from what I just uh, told you. I put in uh, this nice little tiny house here, a little bit cheaper, uh, and I like it. It's nice enough. It's good enough. It's got a, still got a good view of the uh, the lake behind us, so we're going to go with it. Uh, and then uh, I put in the shed that I was talking about right here. I did utilize a little bit of that trick, uh, and, and it, it was Mike uh, that, that, that found that little trick out. So I did utilize a little bit of that. Looks like I need to do a few of those in there if it'll let me do it. Let's do that really quick if it lets me. Um... But I think it looks nice. Now, we didn't go all the way out here yet because, well, we're not sure exactly what we're going to put over here yet, right? But I want to at least get portions of the yard done. So we've got the house, we've got the first uh, shed, and uh, we can move some of that stuff over here. More specifically, our harvester, right? That's one of the most important things to get in there. Okay, let's me do that. Perfect. Perfect. And then we can paint, or at least attempt to try to paint the same color that's un under there. It's like gravel, I think. Yep. So we'll just do that. That's the, That gravel came with the uh, shed when we placed it down, so uh, we'll leave it be. Uh, I just put dirt down for now, because we're not exactly sure what we're going to do here. I don't know if we're going to keep it as dirt, or we'll put gravel down. We can touch that up and fix that up later, so we just threw some dirt down. Um, make it look a little nicer, so uh, that's what we did. So, for the remainder here, I think what we're going to do is go ahead and put some of our equipment into our shed. And I think I'm going to uh, leave the uh, selling point down for now. We might put a new one in in the next episode. Uh, that'll at least give us something else to do if we decide to do that. Uh, because like I said, I think the next episode is going to be a little bit lighter than this one was. We still have some things to do. We've got to cultivate that other field, certainly. Um, and we have more trees to get rid of, but uh, other than that, we really don't have a whole lot else to do until we're able to plant something. So, put that in there, and then uh, we can put some other things elsewhere. So, I think I'm going to actually leave this for now uh, over here. I think this makes more sense for it. It's a, it's a better shed for it. So, we're going to leave that in here for now. Um... Actually, hold on a second. You know what we're going to do? We're going to flip this around real quick. We'll put the uh, forks in there. And we're going to go pick up the mulcher and bring the mulcher over here. Put the mulcher in here, too. This is a perfect shed to keep this and all of the implements in here. Perfect. So we ended up spending probably six to $7,000 less than what I had envisioned. Uh, which is good. We're still at uh, right around... Uh, 27869. We do have more pallets of charcoal we can sell, but we can do that uh, in the next episode. It does not need to be this episode. Uh, it's not the best time to sell them anymore anyway, so uh, we'll probably just be selling those as we need them, more than anything. Because I, you know, if, if we don't need the money, we might as well wait and try to get the best we can get out of it, right? But we probably will need it in the next episode, so... Uh, Given that understanding, you might as well just wait. But at least we can get some of this stuff cleaned up and out of the middle of the, the land here and actually, you know, be able to see a little bit more of what we got to work with here. Right? Turn the lights off on that. We don't need that on there anymore. Oh boy. There we go. Let's see if we can go ahead and put that wood in there, too. Might as well. It's not going to run out of wood. Not for a few episodes, but uh, we can at least get that going in there. Alright, let's get this in here. Um, I'm actually going to do a quick save here. I'm going to turn on uh, the help window really quick. I want to make sure... ...that we have it on limit to fields. If at all possible. I don't want to place it into our shed and then create, create a field in the shed. That would not be ideal. Actually, we probably won't even put this in the field right now. We don't need... It doesn't need to be in the field. This can stay outside, honestly. So I'm just going to set it right here. Might be in the way, but that's okay. I don't think our drill will be able to fit in there. 
we actually end up in the next episode. We're probably going to uh, buy that that. Um, oh, we're probably going to buy the um, the winch as well. I don't want to keep paying for the leasing fee on that winch. That way, it gives us the ability to lease something else. Yeah, that's not going to fit in there. So I think we'll just uh, kind of set it over here for now. Kind of in the way, but kind of not. Oh, didn't have the right thing selected. There we go. Good enough. Water tanker can stay outside. The um, fertilizer spreader should go inside because it doesn't have a cover on it. Keep the fertilizer out of the weather elements, even though it went through a little bit of the elements. We'll gloss over that for now. And uh, we can sell the tent. We don't need the tent anymore. Which means those trees can finally come down as well. in here. We can turn the lights off. We don't need those on anymore. I'm just going to leave the gator right there. And uh, the last thing, like I said, let's get rid of the uh, the tent. And that's it, gang. So we'll leave the episode there. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like, subscribe if you're new. It's free. It helps me out a ton. If you have any thoughts, questions, comments, or ideas, feel free to let me know down below in the comments. I'm happy to get back to you on those. Check my other uh, series is out there uh, all in uh, the playlist portion of my channel. So you can go in there and, and check all of those out. I got a lot of good stuff going on right now. And uh, check all the other links from my other uh, my other channels, Discord, all that good stuff. And until each and every well, until each and every, until next time I'll see each and every single one of you in the next episode.